and he says five out of every seven will die before my son comes now the sixth Imam al-Islam was asked Mawla, what is the explanation of this hadith of your grandfather the Holy Prophet he says one third will die in a world war and then an illness will spread well it says plague in a hadith but when I was reciting this in California a person said to me I'm a scientist and today <coughs> plague is not that old illness anything which is contagious and kill us. Contagious meaning you, one person can, can catch it from the other. And kill us, it, it can lead to death. It's a type of plague. So there are all of these illnesses spreading on earth. A hadith say from the Sikhs of Islam that many of these will start, <coughs> but they will be controlled. Yes? They will start a pandemic or whatever you want to call it. The United Nations has some words for it. That it spreads on earth and it kills an illness spreads like swine flu like bird flu anthrax ebola in in west africa these days yes or any illness many illnesses will start before the end of time many many will start like we've had in the past 20 years many okay the hadith says that many of those will start but they will stop they will not kill one third of the world's population so in today's figures, about 2.5 billion people will die through that illness. Okay. The Imam al -Salam has described that it will spread, it will start, it will stop. And people will take precaution each time. But when it is going to spread and kill one third of the world's population, people will stop taking precautions. They will say, ah, oh, it starts and nothing happens. And that's the time when it will spread. Did you all get it? That will be the final time. So the Imam is also asked, Mawla, where will the war happen and where will the illness? So he said towards the western side there will be the war and east there will be the, the disease or the illness. Or... So a hadith say that when the illness or the, you know, the, the war starts, just before the war starts, you will have the signs. Keep 11 months ration at home. These are not the exact words. But for example, the dry food. Yes, things like flour, things like rice and lentils and everything. The dry food for 11 months, the six well, months. To be precise, the word Spain has been used. But I believe that it is not just Spain. It means Europe, probably. That's my understanding, but I could be wrong. Okay, but the Hadith says Spain, for example. And then, you know, the uh, uh, an economical crisis will come that will destroy everything and just in one hadith of Imam Sadiq al-Islam he mentions 50 signs 50 signs before the Imam al-Islam comes and I think almost all of them I've seen have been accomplished yes so but when the Imam al-Islam will come after those he doesn't say okay for example the there'll be a change in weather so what you're talking about climate Climate change, global warming, whatever you want to name it. I don't want to go into that. Yes. You will see signs of winter and summer and summer and winter and then there will be a climate change. So the Imams have talked about it and have given some details. <coughs> signs, for example, uh, extreme poverty. There will be a variation of um, distribution of wealth. That's what I can name it. So rich will be very rich and poor will be very poor. Ma'roof will become munkar and munkar will become ma'roof. Good will become evil and evil will become good. If for example you stop a person from doing something wrong, people will not support you. They will oppose you. Why are you doing this? It's surah number 29 or surah number 30. It says, ظَهْرَ الْفَسَادُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ All the corruption that you see on the surface of the earth and in the oceans is the doing of mankind. بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ Ya Allah, hang on a minute. There are crocodiles on earth, mm -hmm. you know, there are wolves, probably they contribute. Allah says, no, 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 all the corruption that you see on the surface of the earth and in the oceans. We don't even live in the oceans. Allah says, no, you don't, but you are the corrupt. You make all the corruption in the oceans and on earth. 